Well, 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 if it isn't you absolute beautiful people. As you can see, we're back with another vlog, realistic day in the life of a swing trader, hybrid trader, day trader, whatever you wanna call me. I'm a jack of all trades, baby. In this vlog, I'm just gonna bring you along my day, chat with you about stuff going on. You know we'll talk about some psychology stuff. And I also started a brand new series on the arm trading YouTube channel. That's where I'm gonna be posting my technical videos on road to max allocation, 400K with FTMO, which is super awesome. And in this video, I'm gonna highlight a little bit of the trade, a little bit of the breakdown. For the full breakdown, you're gonna to have to go to the arm trading YouTube channel that I started. We just hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. I'll pop that up here. Make sure you go watch that full video. I created a brand new series. You're gonna enjoy it so much. Now, my trading week's honestly been pretty chill. I took the one trade, hit take profit on that, uh, passing one challenge, took it on multiple challenges as well, which is awesome. And then I also took it on my personal as well, so I'll pop those up. That was it. And then the whole rest of this week, I've been refilming content for the Arm Trading Mentorship. I'm actually going through and redoing all of the videos to make them 4K quality because when I made the initial mentorship program, I didn't have the highest quality mic and I didn't have the highest quality camera. So I'm actually redoing them all. I've been doing like five videos a day. So that's been a struggle, but that's honestly what I've been doing this whole week. Won my trade, done trading for the whole rest of the week. And with NFP coming out, I find after like Tuesday, Wednesday, for swings anyway, the market kind of ranges. I guess there's some pairs that'll be nice, but for the, for the most part, everything's waiting for NFP. So I just use the rest of this week as like an admin day or admin week where I'm just honestly filming a bunch of content for the community and things are looking amazing. The quality is looking amazing and I'm just super, super blessed. Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly interrupt the video to say I am so grateful and excited to announce that we have partnered with Think Capital. Think Capital is a new prop firm that is fully backed by a regulated broker. Yeah, you heard me, regulated broker, Think Think Markets. And this is, this is huge for the prop space. I'm just so grateful that I'm able to be a part of this company and help them grow. And when you guys use my code, you get 15% off. So 15% off all challenges, which is absolutely huge. And you can get max funded allocation with them up to 300K, I believe. They have 100K challenges on there. Go check them out. And the, and the code gives you a beautiful discount. So of course I get kickback from your code. So I just wanna say thank you in advance, but yeah, an amazing, amazing opportunity for all of us. And yeah, just appreciate each and every one of you. This is one of the firms I'm gonna be rocking with for sure. It just feels so good to have another one, another legit one in the space. I just can't see us running into the liquidity issues that we were before with these other firms now that they are backed by a fully regulated broker. So without further ado, make sure to go to the link in the description, use the code, and uh, let's move on with the rest of the video. So as many of you know, if you don't know, I quit coffee. So I haven't had coffee in probably like five or six months now, which is crazy. And I actually supplemented it with tea, but this is non-caffeinated tea. Apparently there's a ton of health benefits with this tea. You can order it on Amazon and look it up yourself, but give me one sec here. So this is what we're dealing with here. Organic nettle leaf. I just got this on Amazon. You know your boy's steep in this thing right now. It's gonna be tasty. And honestly, that's one of the biggest things I miss about coffee. It's not actually the caffeine aspect. I have more energy now believe it or not, not drinking caffeine than when I was drinking it all the time. I'll touch on that in a second. I missed the warm drink, you know? I missed the warm drink sitting at my desk or in the morning with my fiance, and now we just have that and we feel amazing. Now to quickly touch on the caffeine, for the first about week, two weeks, it felt insane. Like I had a massive headache. I had been drinking two to three to four coffees a day since like grade 12, so like, extremely long time. I'm 28 now. I think I was 18. So like 10 years. And uh, yeah, it was extremely difficult. But the energy I have now on a day to day basis is, is literally insane. I literally have energy from the second I wake up until I go to bed. So much so that my friends who drink caffeine are like, what the heck, Mac? Like, how are you so energized? And my, my fiance is like, drives her nuts. It drives her nuts sometimes because I just have extreme amounts of energy all day long. And I'm not kidding. If you're on the fence or maybe you're really, really dependent on caffeine, definitely give this a try. This is something that I did and this is something that I had a big issue with. So I'd have a couple coffees in the morning and then if I didn't have coffee by lunchtime, the whole rest of the day, I'd be tired. And a crazy stat is hours after consuming caffeine, we start to have withdrawals from the caffeine. So. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's a drug and I know some of you, this is gonna rub you the wrong way, but I'm telling you, as a massive coffee drinker myself, and you guys, if you guys are fans of me from the very beginning, you can go watch my old days in the life. All of those vlogs, I was just coffee, 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 coffee. 
and now I'm just completely opposite. But there is alternatives, you know, we have tea that doesn't have caffeine, you're still getting the nice health benefits, and your teeth aren't gonna be yellow. My teeth have gotten a lot whiter uh, since I'm not drinking coffee anymore. But that's not the whole point of this vlog. I just wanted to update you on that because I've been getting DMs from people actually asking like, Mac, are you drinking coffee? I don't see you spamming it anymore. So the answer to that question is no. I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. I'm the best. Can you guys imagine if that's how I walked around? I'm completely joking. I hope that sounded good. I hope that made some of you laugh. I really, really don't walk around like that, I promise. So like I said, my week has literally consisted of work for the RM Trading Group, uh, creating content and uh, posting YouTube videos for you guys on that other YouTube channel, which is just getting so much traction. I'm so grateful and blessed from, for you all. It's, it's unbelievable, but yeah, honestly, it was a very, very chill week in the sense that I took that one trade, held it into uh, Tuesday, I believe, is when my full take profit was hit. And uh, yeah, just beautiful stuff. But I did go and break it down on the arm trading YouTube channel like I talked about, but I will quickly break down a little snippet of it or I'll show a little bit of a breakdown, not nearly in as depth as I'm, I'm gonna go on that channel. And uh, that way you guys can understand the trade that I'm talking about. So once the market ran liquidity over here, all I was doing was waiting for a structure shift to the downside, which is exactly what we got. I ended up market executing within this fair value gap with my stop loss just above this high. And my final target was this low, but I ended up targeting this area here for like a 1.23R. I think my stop loss was a little bit bigger. Um, 1.23R or something like that, just simply due to the fact that it was overnight. It was overnight and I just wanted to make sure that my trade you know, didn't rebound off an area while I was sleeping or something like that, which is exactly what happened here. You can see we did stall here for about 12 hours. Um, one thing I wanna to touch on here is it provided another entry according to my trading plan that some of the members caught out of this fair value gap right here. The reason I didn't take this trade, I was gonna scale in at the gym, is because I was already in this one and I wasn't able to go risk free yet. If I was risk-free, I would have scaled into this position and we would have just destroyed take profit on this thing, but nonetheless, extremely, extremely clean. And yeah, this is the one that passed uh, passed my phase one on my FTMO. I'll pop that up and uh, it brought some beautiful profits on my personal. I'll pop that up as well in case you missed that. Now, for the rest of the week, like I said, I'm just literally gonna be chilling, waiting for NFP to kind of do its thing. Uh, these were the pairs I was watching for this week and uh, just kind of anticipating, sorry I had this on because I was doing some uh, some course videos there, but uh, yeah, some clean, clean stuff on a swing perspective heading into NFP Friday. I, uh, like I said earlier, I, I like to, oops, there I am. Let me just make this a little bit lower. Um, I like to kind of chill the rest of the week. If I've had a win before Wednesday on NFP, then I can kind of wait and see. Uh, I think since inflation's going down and they're, apparently changing rates this month in September, we could see um, we could see NFP take over again as the main driver. But I had two areas for shorts on EU that I wanted to see uh, that I actually posted in the arm trading discord as well. Um, sells from this region here. And if this didn't work out, we have this nice imbalance or region up here that we could see the market push into and then sell off. Okay. So there are some some uh, some nice sell examples. And the reason I'm looking for sells here is just because we ran significant liquidity to the left here. Um, but am I overall bullish on, on Euro? Yes, I am. And I'm overall bearish on DXY. Reason being, we just continue to make lower lows and lower highs. And uh, yeah, fundamentally, everything just keeps coming out bad for the dollar. I ultimately see us running down into this low here, um, this one, and then we have this sell side low over here. Now, if that happens this week, who knows? Um, all I know is the, the markets are looking prime heading into Q4. There are some regions, if we do bounce to the upside that I wanna see dollar sell from, it would be from here or from here, which does align with our uh, foreign pairs. So any XXX USD pairs, so AUD, GBP, EU, you know what I mean? Any of the majors against uh, against the dollar. So yeah, things are looking bright uh, in the Forex market here heading into Q4. And I'm extremely, extremely excited to, uh, to push this. I wanna have max allocation with FTMO and uh, I think, I truly think we're gonna do so. And I can't wait for you guys to uh, see that all unfold on the other channel on that series. I just wanted to talk to you all about something that has honestly helped me tremendously recently and it's kind of a reflection based on how this year has been. This year I found myself getting complacent at times and it's funny what happens when you stop focusing on your goals. So. 
I had goals in mind, but I never really was like talking about them as much as I was at the beginning of the year. And as soon as I started talking about my goals more often and thinking about them and each morning I talked about my goals, I'd write them down. I went and achieved one of my goals almost instantly. And it is so important to focus on our goals because if we're not focused on our goals and we're just kind of going about each day, just do, 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 I found myself, yeah, getting complacent and just struggling to make it to that next step. I was focusing on so many other things, focusing on other people, and I just am really trying to dial in here and finish the year smashing some of the goals that I've had set. And don't get me wrong, I've achieved so many of the goals that I set out for myself, but I have some big ones that I still have not. And the second I focused on myself, I achieved one of them almost instantly and I'm on my way to achieving the other ones. It's very, very important to put away the distractions and this could have been because of summer. I mean, summer in Canada, we I feel like I have something every single weekend because during the winter, we don't really do much, but it's amazing what can happen when you just kind of isolate yourself and just grind and you're just in those grind modes. And I find myself always coming into Q4 with this exact same mindset that I just want to grind. And I think it's because of all the stuff that I do throughout the summer, but I have some huge goals here. And if you have huge goals, they're going to require sacrifice. I shared something in my Instagram story last night, and I just wanted to kind of highlight it right now for you all. Okay. So the post said a pattern I've noticed in successful people, they disappear from the world for months at a time to force pure focus on themselves and their vision. They laser in on one meaningful goal and make it a reality. And it's amazing what happens when you actually just simply do that. You just isolate yourself. One thing you have to realize is the, the parties, the, the things you think may make you happy or you don't want to miss out on are going to be there waiting for you after you achieve your goals, you know, and, and your friends are going to be okay with you kind of distancing yourself to achieve some goals. It's necessary. And if your friends don't support it, then they're not the right people. I'm lucky enough that I have an amazing group of friends around me that they know me by now. I've been doing this for years where I'll just literally just kind of go in hibernation mode and I'll just do my thing. And it brings so much value to my life and they understand and the people around you should understand. And it, like I said, if they don't, then they're the wrong people. But uh, yeah, I have some massive goals here that I can't wait to share with you after the fact. I'm done talking about them beforehand. I'm just going to go out and do them. That's a trap that a lot of us fall into. We get a dopamine hit from talking about goals or where we want to be. But I'm going to change and just talk about things after they've happened and show you the results after they've happened. And I find that way I can just go at my own pace, get it done, and then talk about it. And I think that's going to provide the most value that I possibly can on this channel. So stay tuned for everything that's to come. This isn't the craziest vlog, but I just wanted to pick up the camera, talk to you all, have a little sit down, show a little bit of a trade that I took and just talk about my trading week. And I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, please go subscribe to the new channel. Subscribe to this one if you're new. And what do I say at the end of every single video? Let's be 1% better every single day. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one.